Hi, this is Matt from TracyMac.co.uk, and this is a simmable chip. Now, simmable chip is designed to unlock your SIM card and not your phone. Now, what we mean by that is you'll know that a lot of the mobile providers, uh, such as Orange in this case, and Vodafone and, and all the rest of them, actually SIM lock the phones. So, this Titan 2, for example, uh, can only be used on Orange unless the device is unlocked. So, putting uh, a Vodafone SIM card in that particular phone. Uh, wouldn't work. Uh, you come up with an error and you wouldn't be able to use the phone. So you'd have to get the phone unlocked. Now in various many cases, um, like with HTC for example, it can be done via software um, and with some of the Nokias and some of the other phones you actually have to send the phone away or register the IMEI number. Um, so unlocking the phone can cost between say 10 and maybe 30 pounds. Now the idea of the Cernable SIM card solution is that it actually unlocks the SIM card and not the phone itself. So you can use that unlocked SIM card with the simmable chip in any phone um, or any compatible phone um, and not have to unlock it every time you change phone or, or indeed SIM card. Now with the kit you get this punch. Um, because of the small chip actually on the simmable chip there which sticks out a little, you have to make a little bit of space for that to sit in in the SIM card. Now you actually get a punch with the kit uh, and this sounds like a horrible thing to do, but it is actually quite safe and quite easy to do. If you simply get your SIM card, in this case it's an orange SIM card, and you put it into the, the punch, there is a, like a die there, and it has been made up so that you can't over insert the SIM card, and you simply push down, and we make a hole in it. Very simple to do. As I say, it sounds worse than it really is, and that really just allows for the chip there to sit in that gap that we've made in the SIM card. No real disadvantage with that. Um, I mean, I guess if you sent this back to uh, to Orange or somebody they might be a little bit upset uh, and you can't actually read the SIM card number there. But you may want to uh, you may want to actually take a copy of that SIM card number before you do it, I guess. Um, but that's the idea, so that then you, when you put that in your phone, um, the whole thing sits quite flat. Now, I'll give you an example here of one that I've, uh, uh, Blackberry, which is an O2 Blackberry. Um, and the, the actual Blackberry itself hasn't been unlocked. That's very important to understand that. And you'll notice at the top here, we have an orange logo and we have a, a coverage. If I probably can go into my phone. I don't know if you can hear that. We are actually connected and we're on our orange voicemail. Now let's just cancel that and come out of that. Um, basically, let me just prove that that is what I said it is by taking the battery out. As you can see there's an orange SIM card in here which I've already punched and there is one of the SIMable chips here inside. Now if I return that orange SIM card the battery and put some, uh, the battery back in and just turn it back on. I'll leave that there so that I'm not taking it out of shot and you'll know that it's the same device. And we'll just have a quick look. There are two versions of the symbol chip here, both pretty much the same. Um, one requires um, a little notch cutting out of the chip there, depending on the phone that you have, because different devices have a different way of. Uh, of uh, detecting the SIM card I guess um, and the other one which is the newer one doesn't need that um, I believe that you'll want to check this if you're ordering that uh, you will now if you're ordering get the new version which doesn't require any modification so it's, I'm rambling on because I'm obviously waiting for the BlackBerry to start up and I just want to prove to you that uh, basically it's an O2 Okay, and as you can see, it says the O2 there. And up the top there, you can see it says invalid SIM card. Um, so basically, I'm just you know, basically proving that it does work. Um, it's just that we had this SIM card sitting in the phone already. Now that just basically sits between the connectors on the SIM card, 
which these on this side these connectors touch the connectors on the SIM card itself there and on the other side these touch the connectors inside the phone and that's it really this as I say unlocks the SIM card not the phone you can use it in a real large variety of devices and phones um, there is a full compatibility list on the Simable website but very very easy to do this SIM card and Simable combination will work in a variety of phones so it's one off purchase for the Simable chip uh, rather than having to unlock a variety of phones that you may own um, over a period of time um, full information can be found on the Simable website and we've actually got some information on our site tracingmat.co.uk I um, hope you've enjoyed the demonstration um, and we'll speak to you again soon.